Gay Morrison. Gay Morrison, Monticello, Georgia. I think y'all all know that. That is a good quote. Okay? I like that quote of him. Um, I am frustrated over many things that get approved for us to take the pay. A good many of the items are for privately owned businesses and should not be a taxpayer's response. For a many expenses. One of the things that concerns me tonight, though, is the use first for a corn being off the list for, I believe, $1,000. I understand we have the money in the budget, but if this is approved, then you know, uh, then you will need to think about adding maintenance, gas, insurance, etc., etc. I heard that you were able to buy for a thousand dollars is going to make a lot of repairs quickly out of that. When Michelle ran for this office, she stated how she would do everything possible to be a better coroner and save the county money. I voted for her because of what she said she would and would not do. I think every department in this county could use some new blood, new, new blood with better ideas than the county's best interest at heart. However, I do not see this request as a better idea that would save us money nor get the job done better either. We have never had a vehicle for this position and I do not see where one is needed now. I understand one argument is for those folks that have to be sent to the medical. Well, we have managed to do this for a very long time without needing the first to do this with. So, why do we need one all of a sudden? I also fear that once this purchase is made, the hearse is going to start racking up maintenance costs, and it surely will. I'm sure anything like the house and all will. A new one will be wanted next. The population in Jasper County is roughly 14,000 people. I know we have some suspicious or undetermined deaths that take place, and they must be sent to the state lab to determine what happened. How many do we spend in a month or even in a year? I cannot imagine it is enough to warrant a horse at this time. The transport of these bodies has always been handled by one of our now three instead of two funeral homes. So I'm told, I don't know that for a fact, I'm just told. So why would this need to change? If we were a large populated county such as Bill or Fulton, etc., I may be able to understand the need for it. But right now I can't see it. We are not a big county, but we're obviously a great one. Perhaps if we stop some of the foolish, wasteful spending, we could afford to pay for things that really would help this county and the community that lives in it. Please take into consideration all the factors before spending our money on something that is really not needed at this time. Thank you.